<gasps> There's no coffee. How will I enjoy my Sunday morning? Don't worry, under-caffeinated generic church member. We can make more. There are step-by-step -step instructions on how to make coffee taped on this cabinet here. The coffee grinder is located directly under the instructions. We have comfy filters here. Step one is to grind the beans. If you're going to make a full pot of coffee, you can set the grind to 12 cups. Just press start. Us church staff members like to keep the coffee grinder full of coffee beans. But sometimes we drink so much coffee that it gets low or runs out before we have a chance to fill it again. If that happens to you, I'll show you where you can find coffee beans to fill the coffee grinder. Follow me. They're right here in this cabinet. Fill the top of the coffee grinder. The second step is to line the filler basket with the coffee filter. The filler basket can be located in the coffee pot itself. And if you're making coffee on a Sunday morning, there might already be coffee grinds in the coffee cup. What do I do if there's already grinds? You may simply throw them away in this trash can here. Oh. Great job, generic church member. Wow, that's so simple. Step three is to fill with water from the Brita filter found on the countertop, right here. If you find the Brita filter empty, you can always fill it with water from the tap. If you don't want to wait for that, you can just use straight tap water. Please fill the coffee pot with water. Wow! If you're making a full pot, you can fill it all the way to 12 cups. There's even some left for tea! Wonderful! Step four, press the brew now button on the coffee pot. Step five, creamer can be found in the refrigerator if it's not already out. And now you should have everything to enjoy your nice cup of coffee. Mmm, coffee! I'll never be under-caffeinated at church again! Excellent. That's hot! 